All right, this is the first knot circuit, and uh, it's kind of easy to remember some of these things because the button is not pushed. Um, the same is going to go for the NOR and the NAND circuits. The buttons will not be pushed, and the circuits will work. Okay, you can see that the this one just has a green light. You can see that the green light is on, but when I press the button, I believe it's the blue one. Yep, the blue one. It turns off the light. When I release the button, it turns back on. Okay. These are uh, kind of the cool things that some of these PLCs can do is now we can have multiple things happening based off of one button. So it kind of eliminates the need for a relay. So I'm kind of giving it away by showing you the knot circuit here, but there's some kind of important things I want to talk to you about. And I am live, I'm running, uh, I'm online I guess I should say. Um, and I want you to notice that the input or the input instruction over here is um, true while the output instruction is true and the reason I can tell that is obviously these green bars okay green bars right here now I want, you to, I want you to notice one very important thing is when we press the button this no longer becomes true so I'm gonna press the button boom so you can see that there's no green bars next to it and you can also see there's no green bars over here next to this guy so if I bring out my uh, my input screen here and we go ahead and we move it out of the way and we look over here at our our uh, file number one we can see that when I press the button it is a zero I'm sorry not file number one it's zero slash zero I press it it becomes one when I depress it it is zero so right now even though it's a zero it's in its true state and when it's in a one or when it becomes a one it becomes false okay so that's the one main takeaway I want you guys to think about. The other one is if you hook a normally closed button up to this instruction, there will be power running through it at all times, okay? Or running to the terminal at all times. Meaning that when you don't press the button, it will have 24 volts at the terminal, okay? So just when you're setting stuff up, you're gonna see that normally closed buttons are gonna be used a little bit differently. Um, so kind of think about that. We're going to probably use them a lot more with um, the, I think they're XICs rather than these XIOs, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and close this and you guys can go ahead and get started building your lab.